Over here, we have a bunch of rifles with varying barrel lengths. And we're gonna show you how barrel length affects muzzle velocity. Before we start, hit the like button and subscribe to Normo Academy. Let's go. As luck would have it, I have three rifles in 30 old 6 and they all have different barrel lengths. 60 centimeters, 55 centimeters, and 50 centimeters. I want to show you in a pragmatic way how performance changes with a shorter barrel length. The test is pretty simple. We'll try all three rifles with a Norma Oryx ammo to see if there's a difference. Have you ever done a test like this before? Let us know in the comments below. Because Norma recently released a new silencer ammo, at the end of this test we will also show the difference between the standard Oryx and the silencer Oryx ammo. The three rifles I'll be using is a K98 rebarrel to 30 odd 6, an old Husqvarna rifle from 1953 and the brand new Steyr monoblock. I'll do a series of shots with each rifle and see what the average is for each at the end of the series. To summarize, this was how the rifles performed. As expected, the longer the barrel, the higher the muzzle velocity. Why is it important to know this? A vital part of long range shooting is calculating bullet drop, where muzzle velocity is a key component. For distances up to 150 meters, this is immaterial, but if you want to stretch your legs further, you need to know what the muzzle velocity is. Now, let's see how the new silencer ammo performs. As we saw earlier, in the 50 cm hoose corner, the speed averaged around 755 meters per second. Moving on to the 55 cm style monoblock, we got yep. performance close to a 60 cm barrel at just below 810 meters per second. In other words, with my rifle, the silencer ammo compensates for around 5 cm of reduced barrel length. As ever, thank you so much for watching. Please like this video, subscribe to the Normal Academy channel, and also check out the other videos on this channel as well. Until next time, Kuitjakt! <laughs>